All praises be to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Harakakodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and Shalom to all the sincere Akim out there across the four corners of the earth, pushing his word in truth and sincerity. So this is going to be a lesson going into how the law, the laws written in the scriptures, the, law, the laws of the scriptures, the laws of Moses are not done away, are not done away with, contrary to popular belief that is pushed out there in this in this world, man. The laws, statutes, and commandments found in the scriptures are still in effect as for the Israelites, because the Israelites are who the laws was given to, are still in effect to this day, man. So I'm gonna get it, get into that. So this is the book of Matthew, chapter five, verse seventeen. Take not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. Can't so this is Yahweh Shai speaking, man. So he says, Take not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets, man. The law is written where? In the scriptures, man. The, the, the first five books of Moses. And also many other uh, laws and commandments written throughout the scriptures, man. That has been commanded unto the Israelites, man. But mainly the laws of Moses. Take not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in, shall in no wise pass from the law, till all be fulfilled. Come. So we still, we still here on, upon the earth, man. All that has not been fulfilled, man. We are not in the kingdom yet. We have not been delivered. From the captivity of Esau, talking about the Israelites, because the Israelites are who the laws was given to, and who are and, and are who are supposed to carry out the law, the works of the law. So he said, so Yahweh Shai says, not one jot or one tittle shall pass from the law till all be fulfilled, and all has not been fulfilled, man. So I read that again. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 17. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law, till all be fulfilled. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments, can. So, so whosoever shall break one of these least commandments, and shall teach men so, so you have like you Christians out there, you so-called Christians, you false Christians, because the real Christians are the Israelites pertaining to the book of Acts. You false Christian teaching men that it's okay to break the law, man. That we are not under the, the, law, the laws of the scriptures anymore, man. You false Christians out there, man. So you teach men to break these laws, man, whether it be what is considered a quote-unquote least commandment or a great commandment. So it's going to get into that. So this is a verse 19. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so, he shall he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Can so so you you false prophets, man, you false Christians out there, man, teaching men to to not keep the commandments, the last statutes and commandments of the scriptures. You shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven, man. You shall be ashamed of your behavior and your teachings in the kingdom, man. You're going to be ashamed of the works that you did upon, upon the earth, man. Rebelling against the last statutes and commandments of Yahweh Shai. But it says what? But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Come, so whoever keep it, the last statutes and commandments of the scriptures, they shall be deemed faithful and called great in the kingdom of heaven, man. Why? Because Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai said so, man. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai set forth his last statutes and commandments for men to keep, man. So I'm going to get that, man. As the scriptures say, the last statutes and commandments represent, represents the doings of the last statutes and commandments represents your love for Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And I'm going to prove that, man. So this is the book of 1 John chapter 3, verse so like here. So the book of 1 John chapter 5, verse 2. By this we know that we 
love the children of Yahweh, when we love Yahweh and keep his commandments. For this is the love of Yahweh, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. Okay, so that's the love of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, to keep his commandments, man. Because just like on earth, man, if you respect and love your parents, man, you're going you to follow and obey their rules, man. That's showing your love and your respect for your parents, man, your earthly parents. So how much more for the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. So if you love your Hawa Bashem Yahushai, you're going to obey his rules, man, which is rules and regulations and what? The law, statutes, and commandments for throughout these scriptures, man. Mainly in the first five book of Moses, man. So you're going to keep those commandments, man. And whatever your Hawa Bashem Yahushai commandment, to the best of your ability, you're going to do, man. I'm going to get that, man. So this is the book of First Peter, chapter 4, verse 11. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of Yahweh. If any man minister, let him do it as of the ability which Yahweh give it. That can let me read that again. This is the book of First Peter, chapter four, four verse eleven. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of Yahweh. If any man minister, let him do it as of the ability which Yahweh give it. Can so whatever ability, man, whatever portion of the spirit, whatever your your lot is, that Yahweh Hashem Yahushai give it unto you, man. Hey, that's you supposed to keep the laws according to that ability, man. Whatever ability Yahweh Hashem Yahushai gives unto you, man. So every every brother is given a different portion of faith, man. And true faith, and 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 true faith. To faith also come the works, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that scripture, man. The book of James. Because it's not just about faith, because the Bible says what? Faith, faith without works is dead.